Hi, I hope you are doing well. I'm Jody and I was doing my daily job as a programmer and part of it, I was going to use AI and I thought it's good to record about it and talk about how AI is helping programmers and not replacing them. They may be replaced by AI someday, no worries, but the point is at the moment AI is mainly working as an apprentice or as a very, very, very good helper, like a junior programmer sitting uh, beside me and helping me doing different stuff. Let's see. What's the story? Uh, we are working on a very, very huge data flow with lots of boxes and we get some data from here. We process it on different channels. At the end, we have it here and we process it. We have around uh, in each project, millions of devices coming to this flow every one hour. So we have lots and lots and lots of data. In some cases, we log different things. But in this specific case, I have created a new logger which log, logs things to a database. This is not a logger for the programmer. It is a logger for things we have done on devices. So and a ma manager can check what had happened for this specific device, who touched it, what configuration is changed, and these kind of stuff. Okay, I have created this, and it's part of a very big program, and this might be, needs to be run 200 times per second. What I have done, I have made a proof of concept concept function like event it's working the charts are working everything is fine now i have to change this part because what i have at the moment is a function which is called log event it gets some parameters for the logger and then after doing some checks it's very 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 rudimentary calls a query it says insert into logs blah 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 these data with these parameters. Run the query in ClickHouse, and if it didn't work, tell me. What is the problematic here? As a senior programmer, I can tell you that this will fail on production, because for every single log, we open the connection to the database, write, and close. So if I have 200 requests per second, 200 times per second, I have to open the connection, write, and close. This is very, very basic, ugly, and shameful if goes to the production. But this is a proof of concept. What I want to do now is the improving the uh, performance of this function using a reactive X. Reactive programming is a not a new concept. It's a combination of a lot of great concepts in programming. Normally, when you write a program, you wait for some event, then start processing the event, check the data, call a function, return back, blah, blah, blah. Top to down, you do some stuff and finish here. This is a normal program, normal. But what we do in reactive programming, uh, maybe sometimes called Rx, is we create subjects, we create observers, we listen to events, and we do something when data is changed. It's a different concept or methodology. You can search for it, learn about it and everything. Uh, I have a link here. Reactive X is one of the most famous ones and there are different for each platform. We create observers here, observe pattern, uh, observers with iterators and functional programming. You mix them and create reactive programming. On Python, we have RxPy. And every language has an implementation of Reactive X. Uh, here are the documentations. Uh, you can do different things here. For example, in my case, I want to create a subject. Uh, tell it to run it whenever you have more than 1000 data points or five seconds have passed. So whenever a new data comes for a logger, it will be added to a buffer. Whenever 
I have more than 1000 items in my buffer or 5 seconds have passed, the rxpy will call my writer function. This is so cool. If I want to implement it, I can do it. It's not very difficult, but it may take one day, two days, depends on how I work, maybe less. But here, for example, I have a search for buffer. We have a buffer with time or count. I have to create something. I have to create a next function, call it. And since I'm not a professional ReactiveX programmer, this may need some reading documents, samples and everything. But I will be doing them in my junior mindset. As a senior programmer, at the beginning, okay, I'm just thinking about this is the logger, this is the problem with my logger, so I have to create a buffer. RxPy is a good solution. Okay, these are designed. Now, Junior Jadi or JJ should start reading these documents, creating some subjects, create a buffer there, and do all this stuff. I can outsource these junior tasks to the AI. This is where AI mainly is helping us. Some people start doing everything with AI. I've tried to create a huge pro, not huge, but kind of large project using AI only. And it didn't work that well. The point is, I was telling it, I need a program to do this. Okay, if you need a program to play tic-tac-toe, it's easy. AI just knows it and emits the results. But in many cases, you don't know this. You start telling, I need this, I need this interface, add blah, blah. Now I want to write to the database. Now read this one, now do this. And you start to create something like a Frankenstein's beast or whatever it is called. Because different parts are created in different ways because they are copy pasted by AI from different places. It's not very coherent and it's difficult to maintain and it's ugly. This is at least my uh, understanding up to now. If you are doing something complicated, it's very bad for the AI. But here I have a huge code base. I know what I want to do. I just want AI to do the uh, heavy lifting for me. Read the documents, create what I need and return it back. This is where AI shines, at least in my experience. So I have this, I have a log event. It checks the data, reads the data. Uh, and what I did, and at the end, it creates the parameters and writes them into a query. Now I can start speaking with my agent. I can tell it, uh, this is a routine to write a log into the ClickHouse database, but this is writing every single data using a new connection. This is slow and bad. We are using uh, RxPy and we need a buffer to write data every five seconds or thousand data points. Add a RxPy. Here some people say, don't say please, just say add this, do that, why you are lazy? Because it's a language model. If you start telling it nicely, it will become lazier and lazier. But in my opinion, it's better to say please, because I don't want to be rude first. And if computers uh, start to control the world, if they revolt or if we give them the control, I can always tell them, I always told you, please, so be kind with me. Please add the RxPy uh, functionality to this program to write the data in batches. Let's see what it will do. There are lots of courses about do this for your AI thing, do that, you add this to the prompt. I always got a good result with just telling it what I need and give it some context. I'm using cursor, so it has the con uh, context of this specific file here. Let's see what it does. 
Here I want to add something. There is a talk that programmers will be replaced with AI soon. Here I'm not being replaced. I'm outsourcing part of my job. And first, I should be here because I should tell it what to do. All the history of the programming was, you are going to replace, be replaced because assembly is difficult, but now it's in C, so everyone can say print F, blah, blah. Okay, we didn't, got replaced. Then they said, there is no code. You don't need code anymore. There are tools to do no code. There are tools to do low code and everything. Here, still I'm needed because I, I understand the whole picture and I can tell AI what I want. This is difficult, at least up to now. And next, I'm needed to study this code, to make sure it works, to maintain it, to change it, to have a holistic view. AI, like previously invented tools like C, no code, low code, whatever you call it, help us to be more productive, produce more, create more complicated results and such. So let's see what we have. So we have log subject pipe, it creates a pipe, says buffer with time or count with this logic. So five seconds or thousand data points. Each time this happened, pass this data to my function, filter the empty ones. And whenever I called it on next, go for this. This is the one we, are, we were talking about. Batch log event. This is what works on our data. We have a query which writes into the ClickHouse. We have a data template. We go through all the events we had, we populate the params, and then we execute the call to the ClickHouse. So here I'm just writing to the ClickHouse all the data I gathered up to now. But here on the main log event I had, this is what I had, this is what I had. We create an event data and we call on next. So technically this is correct. This is another place I'm needed in this company, still needed, at least for a few years. The point is I understood this. Now I will go and test this. Just remember my analogy. I was outsourcing this whole heavy lifting, dirty work to my Jody Junior. Jody Senior understood what should happen. Outsource this here. I had to study Rx programming functions, trying to write it, everything for one day or two days. Now this is done by LLM in this specific case with the cursor. So now I have this result. Again, Jody Senior is needed to study this, check this, implement this, test this and everything and have an general view of what is happening. So I'm not being replaced, hopefully, yet. And if I'm replaced, I will be happy because I can go and do more fun things. It is asking, what are you going to do? Okay, I have an enough understanding to see that this is good. We'll accept this. It's very important to read and understand what it's doing. I've just studied it, so I'm safe. Ha, ah, it even changed the this and here it's much shorter. So this is how I use AI in my daily work. Have fun, guys. Okay, this is another day and I remember that I haven't shown you something cool. See, in a code written by AI, we had two issues. One minor but very obvious, one more complicated to troubleshoot. When AI was creating values, it forgot, or he or she or whatever, forgot to add single quotes here. So we were sending completely wrong and broken query to the database. ClickHouse won't accept the message without a single count, single code around it. Clear. Okay, this was ugly and strange. AI should have been able to see and resolve this. But there were also another problem. There was also another problem. It was one problem. Here, when calling the ClickHouse query, AI was creating a 
argument with raw query which was my query and parameters which was parameters we created here but my function here needed a raw query which is only one string with the whole thing so i had to create raw query with query ampersand parameters to send parameters into the query this one this was more fun this is difficult for ai to troubleshoot or even for a uh, experienced person to troubleshoot you should know the code base they are improving but still they need us hopefully for a few more months maybe have fun